In Microsoft Teams, there are different ways to access information about your meetings after they've ended. This includes meeting recordings, transcripts, or AI summaries if you use Copilot. You may already know that immediately after a meeting has ended, you can go to the chat section in Teams, and that meeting will be listed as a recent chat conversation. So if anybody sent chat messages during the meeting, you would see those here. But you will also find other post-meeting information, like the attendance report. And if you recorded the meeting, you can find the transcript and video recording right here. Or click View Recap for even more information. But here's the problem. Meetings don't stay in your list of recent chats forever. What if you had a meeting last month and you need to get the transcript or the recording? Well, here are two options. First, if you know the title of the meeting, you can go to the search field at the top and search for it. Or if you don't know the meeting's title, you can go to the calendar section in Teams. Using the arrow buttons near the top left, you can go back to previous weeks or months in your calendar. Even if you don't remember the exact title or date of the meeting, you can go slowly and look through all of the recent appointments until you find it. Click on any past meeting on your calendar, then click View Recap. If the meeting was recorded, you'll be able to see that recording and the transcript. And if you use Copilot or Microsoft Teams Premium, you'll be able to see an AI recap or ask Copilot questions about what was discussed in the meeting. Now, by default, meeting recordings and transcripts are saved for 120 days. Your administrator can change that default expiration time, or if there is a specific recording that you need to keep longer, the person who originally scheduled the meeting will be able to extend it. You can go to the main Microsoft 365 website by going to m365.cloud.microsoft and sign into your account. Click the Apps button in the sidebar on the left, then find the button for ClipChamp. You may have to click the All Apps button, then find ClipChamp there. You may have used Microsoft Stream to manage your recordings in the past. Stream and ClipChamp have now been merged together. So find your meeting recording in ClipChamp and click to open it. Below the recording, you can see the expiration time. And only if you are the person who scheduled the meeting, you can click that expiration menu and you'll be able to remove the expiration or even set a different expiration date or you could simply download a copy of the recording from this page. So you should still be able to find information and recordings from your meetings in Microsoft Teams, even if those meetings happened weeks ago. And you have plenty of options for managing those recordings. If you wanna see more in Teams and Microsoft 365, drop me a note in the comments or check out my training courses on LinkedIn Learning.